Hello, Miss Curry here with the second half of our project, which is styrofoam marker printmaking. So the things we'll need for this part of the project are a piece of paper that you're kind of kind of use as your tablecloth, a piece of drawing paper. a damp paper towel and actually I recommend you get two one to dampen your drawing paper you'll see that and as part of the process the other to clean off your print plate really good in between printing and uh, magic markers and because we are making pop art what does pop art use bright fun colors. So I've already pulled out the bright fun colors that we're going to use for this project. And a little tip to keep your markers nice, if you're using multiple colors you want to start from lightest to darkest. Now I plan to use yellow pink, orange, and purple. So I think that's a pretty good order for how I should do it on my plate. So the first step we do is color. And I see this, I wanna make sure this is clean. It is. Just wanted to make sure because I don't want to ruin my yellow marker. I'm going to color this as best I can, but I cover, make the whole page good and yellow. The whole uh, printing plate, it's called. It's referred to a plate. It's not a dinner plate that you eat off of, but it is a flat surface that we have engraved on. And we put other things on top of it to make a print. And that's referred to as a printing plate. So we take our printing plate and we make it whatever color we're doing. We're doing what's called monochrome prints for this project. Monochrome means one color at a time. I'm starting with yellow. I'm going to color it as well as I can, as good as I can. And you'll see the image of my cat is left behind. So I'm ready with that. I'm going to set that aside for just a moment. I'm going to take my drawing paper. And you can see this will fit nicely. Four different colors is going to fit nicely on this paper. So I'm going to do it in and one of these corners, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. I take my clean, damp paper towel. I don't want the paper to be too wet. Just want it to be damp. Just damp enough to accept the ink off the magic marker. So I kind of wipe it across so that the paper accepts the water. Let it sit for just a couple seconds. Make sure it's not too wet. Let it soak in. And then I'm going to take my print plate, set it down, so that it's ready for me. And then I'm going to set my paper on top of the print plate. Ideally, my setup here is a little difficult to work around, but I think I've got it. And you want to press down, give it a good massage so that it kind of sticks to it. Then we take our marker and we use our marker like a little rolling pin to get it evenly, the ink as even as possible. Now when you're making a, a print, 
and you're in an art studio with all the materials, you'll use something called a brayer, which is like a little steamroller. It's like a little cylinder on wheels on a axle. But we're making do with what we have. So we're using like a, like a, and you see the ink transferred off of the print plate onto the damp paper. And that turned out pretty good. So I'm excited. So let's move on to step two. We're gonna clean off our print plate so that our markers don't get dirty. Make sure it's good. This is our tablecloth so we can kinda use it to absorb some of that excess water. And turn it around. It's okay if it's still a little damp. We just don't want it too damp. And I'm gonna use pink next. Here we go. I'm gonna color this in, the pink, just like we did with the yellow. Again, it's monochrome. I'm only doing one color at a time. So mono, chrome means color, mono means single or one, singular. So getting an idea why we need this tablecloth paper, placemat, so to speak. So one of the fun things I've learned by doing this is that when I make, if I want to color in swirly cues, you'll be able to, to see a hint of that on my print. So you can experiment with the marks you make with your marker on here. You might want to do, I'm going to do this one in circles. The other one I think I just did straight back and forth. With this one I'm going to make some circular lines and we'll see if, if we can see them. Okay, I think that's covered pretty well. So now we set that aside and bring back our paper. And I'm going to do this, this one in this corner. Again, we take our damp washcloth, or not washcloth, but paper towel, and we kind of rub it on the paper. You don't want your paper wet, but you do want it damp. Okay, so we'll bring that aside. We'll put set down our, if you have a big, bigger table space, it gets a little easier. I'm just trying to work so that I can show you on camera how to do it, the steps. And then I'm gonna lay this on. I'd like a little bit of a border around it. And again, I'm gonna press with my hands until it sticks. See that? And I'm gonna use my rolling pin Rolling pin. Make sure that we pick up all the ink there is. You can roll it. Okay. So long as it doesn't slide. If it slides, your image will get blurred. So you don't want to slide the paper. And then we peel it off and we take a look. Hey, pretty good. And there you have it. And then we're gonna do two more colors. I'm gonna do a purple and an orange. And I'll take a picture and show you at the end. But that is the process. So I hope you have fun doing that. And let's get to work and try it. Thanks for watching.